In this video, we will see how to encode a bit pattern using pseudo ternary. If you have seen my last video on AMI, you will find that pseudo ternary is exactly the opposite of AMI. One represents a neutral zero voltage along the time axis and zero represents alternating positive and negative voltages. That means for the, let's say for this zero, if you are above the time axis, then for the next zero, you will be below the time axis as far as your signal is concerned. So let's see how we can do this. So one represents a neutral voltage. So whenever I see a one, I'll draw a signal along the time axis. Okay. Then here again, I see a one. So I'll draw it along the time axis. I'm encoding the ones first. Just to proceed things a bit quicker, just to proceed with the things a bit quicker, I'm encoding the ones first. They'll be simply along the time axis representing zero voltage, representing zero voltage. And then again here I find a one. So I'll encode it along the time axis. That's it. That takes care of my ones. Now let's handle the zeros. So it's alternating positive and negative voltages. So we'll have to start with positive, right? We'll have to start with positive. So first zero will be a positive voltage. The next zero will be a negative voltage. And the zero after that will again be positive. So it all depends on the previous one. See, this zero is negative because the previous one was positive. This zero is positive because the previous one was negative. And this zero will be negative because because this one, the previous one was positive. So this is how you would encode a bit pattern using pseudo ternary. I hope this helps. Thank you.